Lesson 610 is a review of common denominators. We're going to reinforce the use of common denominators to compare fractions and then add and subtract fractions. So let's take a look at some math journal pages. Um, on page 200, you are going to be drawing some lines and looking at um, how fractions are equivalent. So number 1A wants you to draw a horizontal line to split each part into thirds this thirds fraction stick into two equal parts. So right now we have thirds. One third is colored in. We want to split it into two equal pieces by drawing a horizontal line. How many parts are there in all now? Well now we have one, two, three, four, five, six parts. For part B, it says draw horizontal lines um, to split each part of this halves fraction stick into three equal parts. So now we have our halves it into three equal parts. Those aren't quite equal, but they're pretty close. So how many are there all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. In each of those we have six parts. So if we want to figure out how one third is equal to two six, here we split it into two equal parts. So we did two times one is two, and two times three is six. Okay, so those are equivalent fractions. On this one, we split it into three equal parts. So half is the same as three six. We took three times one is three, and three times two is six. Remember when you're finding equivalent fractions, if you multiply by three on the top, you have to do the same on the bottom. Okay, so that's one of the activities you'll be doing during this lesson to find equivalent fractions. You will also need to find equivalent fractions or common denominators to compare fractions and to add and subtract. So on this next page, on page 201, you'll be looking at two fractions, 4 sevenths and 3 fifths for letter A, and you need to find common denominators so that you can compare and show which one is greater or less. 4 sevenths and 3 fifths, one way that we can find a quick common denominator is multiplying. So I know 7 times 5 is 35. If I multiply by 5 here, I have to do the same on the top. If I multiply by 7 here, I do the same on the top. And I can see now by comparing my numerators that 3 fifths is larger, so 4 sevenths is less. Okay, so you'll continue to do that for part B. And then down below, when we add and subtract fractions, you also have to have common denominators. So if we take a look at number two, we have one half minus one third. Two times three, again, I can find that quick common denominator by multiplying. It's six. So I'm gonna write it all the way across with my sixes on the bottom. I took two times three to get six, so I multiply by three on the top. 3 times 1 is 3. I multiplied by 2 to get 6. So now I can um, subtract my numerators. 3 minus 2 is 1. So even when you're adding fractions, you'll need to do that as well. So you can use your fraction sticks. You can um, divide fraction sticks into equal parts, or you can multiply to get your quick 